morning student in the previous video we have discussed about the coordination and why coordination is not treated as a separate function of management but as an essence of management in this video we will discuss the various nature of coordinations and its importance coordination integrates group efforts that it is related to group force and not individual efforts the question of coordination does not arise if the job is done by one person only why the importance of coordination arises because there are large number of person or individual working in a single roof they have different opinion different thoughts and this may leads to arise the conflict and that may hamper the uh, goal of the organization so it is the role of coordination that it unites the efforts of individuals towards the achievement of organizational goals now the second nature coordination ensures unity of action the nature of coordination is creating of unity in actions it means during coordination process an effort is made to create unity among the various activities of an organization means all the department should unify and their effort should be to achieve the organizational goals coordination is a continuous process that it begins at the beginning of planning stage and it continues till controlling as we have discussed the various functions of management in all the functions there is a presence of coordination and it start from planning until it continue to the controlling functions next is coordination is a pervasive function that we have already discussed it is also treated as an essence of management it present in all departments in all the levels of management so we say we can say that coordination is a pervasive function coordination is the responsibility of all managers it is the function of every manager in the organization top level manager need to coordinate with their subordinates to ensure that the overall policies of the organizations are duly carried out middle level management coordinates with the top level and first line manager whatever the plan is made whether it is going according to the plan or not this is what the uh, responsibility of middle level managers and lower level management coordinates the activities of its workers to ensure that work proceeds according to plan so this is what the role of the supervisory manager that it should work according to the plan framed according to the standard made by the planning functions next is coordination is a deliberate function how you can say this a manager has to coordinate the efforts of different peoples in the conscious and deliberate manner as we have already discussed about the co term corporations and coordination both are equally important than only organizational goals can be achieved coordination in the absence of uh, cooperation in the absence of coordination may lead to wasted effort and coordination without cooperation may lead to dissatisfaction among the employees thus both are required at a given point of time that we have already explained in the previous video how uh there is a lack of cooperation and in case of lack of coordinations the uh, uh, uh the expected results cannot be achieved so this is what about the this is all about the nature of coordination under six main point we have discussed the nature of coordination now next topic we are moving towards the importance of coordination why coordination is important this is why the need of coordination arises because of the following reasons one is growth in size 
as an organization grows in size the number of people employed by it also increases on uh, that that individuals belongs to different background different opinion different view at times it may become difficult to integrate their efforts and activities for management it is necessary to ensure that all individuals work towards the common goal of the organization but employees may have their individual goals also thus organizational efficiency is important to harmonize individual goals and organizational goals through coordination all individuals have their own personal objective and it is the responsibility of management to motivate him that his personal objective only be fulfilled if organizational objectives will be achieved so this is what the role of coordination now next is functional differentiation in an organizations there may be a separate department of production finance marketing and human resources department all these departments have their own objectives policies and strategies so they may arise conflict between them thus coordination is needed to ensure the unity of action by acting as a binding force between department and to avoid conflict between them just i am giving you one example as the marketing department's objective is to increase the sales by giving by allowing 10% discount to their customers but it is objected by the finance department that that may uh, may may not be uh, favorable for the organizational point of view such discounts uh, as it increase the uh, loss of revenue or it may reduce the profit so in this way this conflict arises and it is shorted out by the management that uh, by giving by reducing the percentage of discount both the departments conflict can be shorted out means uh, marketing department is allowed to give 5% discount this may going to help to increase the sales and uh, finance department also will be satisfied if uh, the revenue loss will be by 5% only so this is the way the uh, management shot out the conflict among the different departments see by picture it is represented that we all have to work with coordination and same tempo so as to achieve the organizational goal there should not be a conflict between the uh, opinion and objective and our motto is to achieve the organizational objective now the next uh, importance due to specialization organization need to employ specialists to handle complexities of modern technology and diversity of tasks as the organization increases the work increases technology is advanced so experts are required in the organizations and specialists usually think that they only are qualified to evaluate judge and decide according to their professional criteria they do not take advice or suggestions from other members of the organization and this often lead to conflict between them therefore coordination is required to avoid conflict between the specialist and the other members of the organizations this is only the coordinations that uh, avoid the conflicts and give importance to organizational objective not to fulfill their personal objective so this is what why the importance of coordination arises we explained this in the three main point first is due to growth in size coordinations 
is required functional differentiation also lead to the importance of coordination and uh, to avoid the conflict among the specialist coordinations plays a very important role so this is all about the topic coordination that we have already discussed the term coordination why it is called as an essence essence of management and its various nature and their important this is all about the topic coordination and by this topic we have completed our first chapter that is nature and significance of management as we have already explained